Hey guys, Cystorm here. Just wanted to show you a little computer craft project I've been working on. This is Snap and Box, and they're a pair of turtles that together uh, kind of provide an alternative to the framing quarry, the mining quarry. Uh, they work on the same principle with the mining well, the ender chest, and the power source. Uh, I'm using energy tesseracts here because in the new version of thermal expansion, you can take a tesseract and you can combine it with some of this shiny metal and it'll actually lock the settings. So if we look at this one, you'll see uh, I'm the owner, it has frequency of one, it's in receive only mode, etc. Uh, and the neat part about that is that engineering turtles can actually pick up and place these. And that's kind of how this whole system works. Um, they are both chunk loading turtles. That's just in case there's a chunk border, you know, right here, that they'd both be in loaded chunks. And they communicate wirelessly, actually. Uh, Box, the front guy, the mining turtle, is the boss, and he just kind of tells Snap what to do, you know, when to put down the energy source, when to pick it up, when to move forward. Uh, he asks him if he's out of fuel, things like that, and they just kind of move on their merry way. Now, the cool part about this, too, is that even though they're wireless, they're only talking to each other, so you can have more of these guys going. See, I have a bunch of these guys, they're just all mining along, none of them are really synchronized at all. I guess these two kind of look like they are, but they're not really. Um, one of the advantages this has over frame mining frames, actually, is that uh, it'll deal with stuff if, if it's in its way. So you can see here, uh, all this sand is in its way, they got a long desert, they're underground. If you were using this on, you know, your normal server, there'd be mountains and stuff these guys would have to traverse. But, uh, you know, Box is kind of like the honey badger, he doesn't care, he just just keeps on moving along. Uh, in the back end, we've got an ME system, and this ender chest is set to the same combination as all of those, so you can see the resources coming in. Um, if you're using an ME system like this with an import bus, make sure this is set to move stacks of items. If you don't, uh, you're going to have not enough room in the tesseracts, and then, or in the ender chest, and then uh, entities are just going to fly everywhere all over your world and your server admin is going to hate you. Um, over here I have redstone energy cells hooked up to the energy tesseract. This is just for demonstration. Uh, you might have this tesseract hooked up to your you know, main build craft power or whatever. Uh, so how to set these guys up is pretty easy. Uh, I'm just going to put them a block off the ground, but you don't necessarily need to. Uh, the only thing you need to make sure of is that uh, Snap here, the back turtle, the engineering turtle, he can't break blocks. So, you know, you can't have anything under him like that. Otherwise, the system just won't work right. So that's the only thing you have to be careful of. I'm just going to make sure it's new in here. Um, then what you do is you paste in some computer craft code from Pastebin. And you can find this code in the video description. And I'm going to go over to Snap, do the same thing. And then uh, you just run the program. Now Snap's going to tell you that he needs a locked energy tesseract or a redstone energy cell. Uh, this will work with these energy cells, but the problem is, is they run out of energy eventually. So what will happen is you'll just have uh, turtles out of power stranded somewhere, and you'll have to come and um, give them another energy cell. So we're going to give them the tesseract. And now you want some fuel in slot 16. Uh, they just need a little bit of fuel to get going. Uh, I'll explain that in a minute, but we're going to give him a scaffold because that's only 15 fuel. And now he's sitting here, he says, waiting to pair with partner. So let's go over to his partner. Uh, box can be on top of blocks, that's fine. He'll go ahead and break them before we get started. And we'll just run box. Uh, he wants an ender chest, so we'll give him one of those. He wants a mining well in slot 2, we'll give him one of those. Uh, insert an advanced charge station or higher into slot 3. Uh, now the idea behind this is that we have these energy tesseracts over here that's getting you know placed down and they're hooked up to buildcraft power so why don't we just use a charging station for all the fuel I think that'll work better I'm gonna use a lapatronic because I like blue and he's also really needy uh, he needs some fuel so we'll give him a scaffold too uh, once they have all their you know required supplies they will go ahead and uh, say partner found and then they'll start working together 
Um, now, I think this cycle, since I only gave them a scaffold, they should be running out of power, just so you guys can see the recharge here. You'll see Snap uh, lays down the energy chest act, and then Box puts down the um, recharging station. And then they're going to wait here until they hit a certain fuel level. Uh, I think I have that set at 500 right now, but, you know, it's customizable in the code. You can do whatever you'd like. Uh, one thing to note is that uh, these guys don't support resuming yet. That's planned for my next release. But I saw somebody post this exact idea on the Reddits, and I didn't want to get beat to the punch on it. So I haven't implemented that yet, but that's next on my agenda. So if you're playing single player, these guys probably won't help. Uh, and if you're on a server, if the server crashes, then you know, you'll have to go restart them and uh, set them all up again. But that'll be in the next release. But you see, after they're done charging, they go ahead and just continue along their merry way. And, uh, you know, you can set up a bunch of these in a row like this, really as many as you'd like, or really one will give you, you know, resources as it goes along. Uh, that's pretty much about it. If you need to know how to make anything, uh, you know, just look through NEI. You need, you know, quite a few things. Uh, if there's some interest, I'd be happy to make a video tutorial on how to make each part individually and how to set it up. But uh, I just want to make sure there's interest before I do that. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you get some use out of Snap and Box, and happy mining.